Right, well, I shall get started then in that case. Um, so here we go. Let's pop ourselves back in. Happy holidays. The Duke of Lombridge needs your help. Head to Lombridge Castle to find out what's going on. Oh, I did that last time. That would be nice to have been popped up previously, but anyway. Right, so, last time around, I started working on my cooking and fishing skills so I could be self-sufficient for a bit, while I slowly worked towards getting my combat level enough so that I could be left alone in the mines, the dwarven mines, to avoid being attacked by scorpions. But then someone pointed out there was a quest in the castle, and I did the quest, and I had a world of Christmassy gear as a result. And now... I need to resume my adventures of getting self-sufficient and preparing for what will be a uh, quite a lengthy steel grind through the smithing and mining process. At least now we have a runite pig. But the first thing I'm going to do before I do any of that is I'm going to go and kill some chickens. Because I want their feathers. So we're going to butcher some chickens, and I guess we'll just leave the raw meat as it is. No real need to, to have it or anything. So I can now safely say that I have killed, I have killed, well, I've already killed some chickens in the past. So I don't think there's any farmyard animals left that I haven't butchered at some point. Although you can't kill the sheep, except for the rams. So this is the rams, but anyway. I'm here for feathers. I'm gonna get a fair few of them for fly fishing purposes. So I'll need that to catch the salmon. And we'll just leave the raw chicken in place. As it is. And the chicken shall die. Very quickly now, since we are ridiculously leveled, so this should be no real problem. Shouldn't take me too long to get all the materials I need. I say this should take less time, as I am somehow missing this chicken several times in a row, so go figure, huh? They don't always drop feathers, though, that being said, but when they do, these should drop quite a few. So this should only take a couple of dead chickens for me to realize what I need. Hopefully. We hope so, anyway. Come on now. Get those chickens killed. And this chicken is actually trying to run away. Oh! Killed it instantly. For the three. Very nice. I actually went to bury their bones. We are respectful for all chickens. Oh, that one's only being attacked. So we'll just go in here and take these feathers. And obviously this is a very good area to start off with if you're new to the game, as chickens aren't designed to actually uh, do any damage to you. So you can basically sort of learn the combat basics and get a couple of levels up by killing these innocuous chickens. So... They don't serve much purpose beyond that, though, than to give early cooking materials. So you will get, like, a few, uh, cooking points. And I'll take the iron arrows, because why not? Do I need a couple of those? So I'll just go around 200, I think. I think that'll be a good amount to get for now. Don't have to go crazy or anything on the amount. To be honest, about 200 should do. As you can see, I'm already up to 132, so this shouldn't take very long. And chickens obviously don't put much resistance, so they die pretty quickly, which is good for me. Means I have to worry about my HP at this point. Obviously, someone here is just grinding them and not caring much about the, the drops. But I will care. 
I'm surprised more players don't bother to bury the bones. I guess they some players aren't after that kind of thing. Aren't after the um, prayer grind, I guess. I know that some people do it, but we manipulate their levels so they don't have a lot of prayer, or maybe they don't really care much for the prayer stats, so they don't invest any points in it. But I thought an average player would realize that once bones are significant, you just kind of always bury them and get into the habit of just doing that every time. But, yeah, well, I guess some people just don't want to bother. Die, chicken, die! Thanks for the iron arrows, whoever is genuinely not curving enough to drop them. I mean, pick them up. <laughs> it's always appreciated. I'm not really going to be here to grind my combat. I'm just here to get enough feathers so I can keep fly fishing. I'm almost done, in fact. Yep, just a few more and I'll have 200 feathers. Nice and easy. Almost there. And 202. I think that will do me for a good while now. Let's get out of here. And I'll pick up these on the way out. Don't need to spend too much more time killing the chickens. I'll just pick up the odd one on the way out. Okay. Let's get out of here. 222 feathers ought to be enough for now. Actually quite close to the next prayer level. Huh. Could have killed a few more, I guess, but... Nah. I got more in... Hey, Scotty, how you doing? Good to see you. And how are you this Monday morning, which is like... Well, like... <laughs> it's Christmas Eve next this time next week. So... We're very close to Christmas now. That's why I'm wearing just a t-shirt. It's not like cold actually at the moment. For some reason. I think that's because there tends to be a warm spot in the day. Well, you just missed me killing some chickens, Scotty. To get some feathers. Look where it doesn't take very long. And now I'm going to resume what I was doing last time before that Christmas event happened. Getting my fishing to 30 so I can catch my own salmon. Okay. I no longer need to fear the level 20 wizards anymore. I think he might still attack me if he sees me. But I can tank his spells now. I mean, I have 24 HP. I'm pretty, even with my magic reduction, I'm still not going to die anytime soon. So I no longer need to run past that weird area and yes at some point for a quest way to run we will be visiting that area so those dark wizards will not be getting ignored for too much longer but we'll get to that but i <sighs> oh i'm in the right direction i'm gonna dump these arrows off and i'm gonna go fishing Hope you like fishing, Scotty. Hope you like some fishing. Also got a couple of iron arrows for my archery. Range skill even, I should be saying at this point. So... It has now been over four weeks since I've uh, received... Since I was suspended from work... I've been off work now for a month, practically, and I still haven't heard anything, so. Although I wish to remain positive in my thinking, I, I do fear the worst has happened. Only ever been fishing a couple of times yourself. I've never been actually fishing. Fishing is supposed to be very relaxing, but... Um, 
going very patient to fish in real life, so. So here we go. The fishing grind resumed. Hopefully this won't take too long and I'll be back mining again. Killing scorpions. <clears throat> So, I don't know, It's fishing sounds like something you do at a sort of, if you don't gain Twitch straight away, it sounds like something you do when you're a bit older, I guess, but, yeah, I'm quite happy just to fish in a digital form at the moment. S6 elite. So we're still only catching trout, but once we hit 30, we'll be catching some salmon. And then we'll be able to cook them. Which will be pretty handy. And then for quite a while, we'll be okay for food. I suppose. Although at some point, I suppose we will have to start getting towards lobsters. Because we'll have more HP and we'll need to not as use much use as much inventory space, but I'm not really as uh, fussed about that at the moment. It's not like I'm fighting a lot of high level enemies for a long period of time and need the constant food resource. Although that will happen at some point, I'm sure. Definitely. Yeah. Good thing is we're not that far off 28 and... Well, what can I say? This... <laughs> An uncut emerald. Might just swipe that <laughs> real quick. Not sure what that's doing there, but might as well take it. It's kind of a shame I have to wait 24 hours to be able to post my uh, little thing I did last night on YouTube. I can't wait to post it as soon as I'd actually done it, but. Anyone done Dragon Slayer? <laughs> Dragon Slayer's play one of the... Oh god, we've run out of fish! Whoa, the fishing area actually dried up. That's kind of odd. Oh, it's all over there. What is the goal of the game? I'm not familiar with this. Um, there isn't really a set goal as such. You kind of just do what you feel like doing, you know? You sort of set your own goal. The goal for me with this long-term project is to get all these skills to 99 and to complete all the quests on this uh, blue star thing. That's my goal. But really, you could set any goal you wanted. You could just like say, I want to hit 99 fishing and then be done with the game. That's why it's a kind of a rarity among MMORPGs. It's not like the every other MMORPG, or most of them anyway, where you just get a bunch of quests at your level and just do more quests per level. You kind of just establish your own goal and go from there. You might want to make a lot of money, for instance. You might want to be the best. You could be a PvP player and go out PKing. You could become a, a smither where you just hit 99. You're not basically dependent on just having to level up in the traditional sense. 
I mean, there are combat levels, but you don't even have to engage with combat. My fishing level is 28. Nemus can now try fishing for slimy eels. <laughs> People are mobile. Oh, I can't carry any more fish. Right. Uh, I guess I'd better cook these. Might as well cook them on this infinite fire. No harm in getting some more cooking levels up. Also to establish a uh, supply of trout. Actually, I think I'll just drop the trout because I'm working towards salmon at this point. I've got enough trout in the bank as it is. So I'll just dump these on the ground. One hygienic I know, but other people will come by this area. Obviously this is used as a food supply for many players, and, and certainly I'll be using it for the same thing for a bit. Picking up all the salmon and... I do actually wonder if you can get lobsters here later on or not. I worked out later. I have to be level 40 to get lobsters. Alright. Let's drop all the burnt fish in one spot and all the edible stuff in another. Joy of Mapping 6 is underway. Yeah, I saw that uh, I think Bridge Burner or someone was doing a stream on it. But yep, the Joy of Mapping 6 is on the way for the next four days. Best of luck to anyone taking part in that. I look forward to uh, seeing the results at the end. also tonight actually going to do what I said I was going to do on Friday which was the Iron Eagle uh, competition followed by a couple of play testing of maps so I'm actually going to get around to doing that instead of just saying it and then changing my mind <laughs> I am also going to partake in some real life cooking as well. And I'm going to cook my own tea tonight, which is uh, homemade hamburgers. One of my favorites. I'm going to cook my own to help me practice. So my in real life cooking skill will increase today, maybe. I've actually cooked a few times before, but I, I don't get into a regular practice of it, which, which I need to do really. Because once I've learned how to cook, I'm pretty much set for independent living. So, so, so one thing I've never been able to fully get a hang of, but I'm alright to do it. I just uh, lack a lot of confidence in these kind of things, unfortunately. <laughs> hey ho. Then I'm getting no signal on my phone here. I may have to took my phone off the charge and just dump it on the side or something. Shame, we need some charge time. Hmm. Not too much more sunshine though. So I got to put some washing in as well in a bit. Boss is gonna get mad if they see me fishing.
Ah, my fishing is roll 29, and more available is available from the fishing tutor. I will probably not ever speak to. <laughs> Maybe I should. I don't know. One more level, and I have achieved my target. And now I'll just get some salmon and cook them, and then I'll be done. Well, actually, I could probably just take all this wild salmon, but for now I'm just fishing. Cooking is easier than people think, as long as you prepare thoroughly. That's something I've tended to find so far. It's just having the confidence to do it by myself. I mean, at the moment I'm sort of like cooking, but I'm being guided by my mom because she's very good. It's not surprising me. Um, explains the name. No. I've just been AFKing, reaching an AFK a court on camera. <laughs> well, yeah, one of it's just preparing it, really. I mean, what, I mean, it's not like baking where you have to be precise. Cooking is pretty basic. If you get everything and do it right, roughly, you're good to go. I still find it really nerve wracking now. Oh, boy. I'm about to uh, fill up on fish again. Hmm. There we go. Another world of fish to cook. I am now 28. Nevers can now cook slimy eels, sweet corn, and vegetable batters. Very nice. I'll just be cooking fish today, though. As you can see there, people are playing uh, um, on their mobile phones too, so. Man, I'm still burning quite a few of these. I was able to never main. And 29 cooking. Members can cook mud pie, brew cream and ale, make cheese and tomato batters. Man, I can make a lot of delicious ale. Oh, yeah, I can shift quick, can't I? What am I doing? Being rather stupid. There we go. Alright. My cooking level is actually caught up to my fishing level quite conveniently. <laughs> Alright. Well, well, one more fishing level and then I'm done. I mean, people are dropping, like, cook salmon so I might just pick some up and then go be done from that point on I mean I will probably come back here and do some fishing later on and catch a lot more salmon to level up but at the moment my priority is the dwarven mines which I'll be heading back to immediately so I can kill more scorpions and level up my combat abilities. Might get them all to 25 if I'm lucky. And that should put me at 29 plus combat level, which then means the scorpions will leave me alone. And then I can mine there a lot more peacefully and get on with the real mission to grind steel painfully for a bit. And this is where it's going to really kick in. All of this is just a preparation for a much larger grind, basically. 
The steel grind. Getting to 50 spiving so I can do mithril. That's where the real fun starts. Which is why I'll be interspersing it with quests. Get a few of them done on the way. I think there's one in particular I actually want to get done. One more catch, I should say, and I'll level up. Shame you can't swim in this game. <laughs> Wobbies! Which he's referring to lobsters. My fishing level is now 30! I can try fishing for salmon! Members can catch leckish fish. At last, I have hit 30. And now I will just attempt to catch a few salmon of my own. But more, most because players of like... What level to cook lobsters? Um, Oh wow, you go level 40 cooking and fishing as well to catch and cook lobsters. That's the next thing to aim towards, I guess. Damn, only 35 cook. Beat to wait until you're higher. Okay, well, now we shall cook all these trouts. And people are talking about the leveling of cooking at the later level. So I'm just going to cook these trouts just to help raise my cooking level a bit. Then I'm going to pick up all these salmon and go back to the bank. And I can get rid of all my trouts now, basically. But I might keep them, actually, and use them as a low-level food source. No point in completely just getting rid of them, I think. Save my better, slightly better food stuff for. Oh, actually, we can think of it. People are keep on catching. People are using the. Uh... <laughs> All the salmons have gone for now. Alright. And now we will cook the salmon. Hopefully, we will not burn all three of them. Well, we didn't. Well, at least we spurred one of them. Oh wait, what am I doing? I might just want to keep that. Wink. Salmon. Give me that salmon. Hmm. What we fish? I want that salmon. It's just trout. I don't want trout. I'll try and fill up on salmon. Oh, thank you for the uh, host, MTX. How you doing? So you more salmon now? Let us get a bunch of regular ones. Oh, there's some more salmon. Well, let's try to cook these real quick and see if we get lucky. My cooking's now level 30. I can cook apple pies and tuna. Members can now cook wormholes, wakish fish, and jewel bats, and the poor spit roast jumpy bird. Very nice. Alright. I think we're done for here. Yeah, I think we'll call this a wrap for now. Well, maybe I have to get a. Wow, that will... Okay, whatever. Let's just leave, maybe. 
Yeah, I'm just gonna leave. Screw it. I've got enough food for now. Hello, IDDQX. And all the MTX crew. Haha, <laughs> you want that sound, but I'm over here. I'm just looking for that head. Hello, Dave. Hello, Blue Bill. And I was just watching MTX stream before hopping to this one. Oh, God, what does this guy want? Ah, hello there, Daddy. I just took up an old treasure chest of mine. Problem it means me old hands of mine aren't as useful as they used to be, and the knock on that chest is a little bit too fiddly for old Captain Arnold. Could you help me out? Yes, I will help you unlock your chest. There are three columns. What you need to do f for me is match up each picture with the word underneath the column, and then unlock the chest. Okay. Ring. Coins. Bar. Alright. Ah, little matey, that's the right combination. Yeah, have a little something for me out. Oh, nice, he gave me a gold bar. That's handy. You managed to finish the rest of PlayStation Doom. Congratulations, MTX. I'll probably be starting Final Doom sometime here soon. Not like in an hour or an hour, of course. I mean, sometime tomorrow, maybe. Alright, oh, fair enough. Well, I've just finished getting my fishing to level 30, and my cooking has also matched it, so... I'm now able to resume my uh, combat level experience thingy. So let's just dump all these, we don't need any of these anymore. We have quite a few trout, and we've only got 11 salmon. We'll withdraw 5 trout, and my rune pit. Do the trick. Actually, let's just dump a few less because I'm doing alright against the the uh, scorpions. Right, let's go. We can finally get on with the task at hand, which is getting my combat level high enough so the scorpions don't bother me in the dwarven mines. Any time I just want some food, I can just pop by the Barbarian Village and grab a ton of salmon or trout and be on my merry way. Although mostly I'll be going for salmon. Now. I mean, the next thing to work towards would be... Uh, lobsters, but I can wait a while for that. Forget combat, that's dangerous. Just open a fish restaurant. I've got to do some fighting, Dave. If you want the good stuff in this game, you've got to put your swords and your armor to the test. Or your magic. Or your arrows. Preferably all three. Well, I don't know how effective he can be as a spell mage, <laughs> battle mage in this game. <laughs> I think you kind of have to commit to one of the three trees of combat. Mostly because you gain bonuses for... Although, yeah, you can't really be a battle mage because... Also, John, I wanted to ask you why you're waiting for me to be in chat to play my map. I'm fine with you playing for a map even if I'm not there. Well, I just think it'd be nice uh, if you were around at the time. But if you're not too bored about you being there, then yeah, I guess I'll just do it whenever. I have quite a few maps to play through tonight, though. After my... I, I am planning to actually play some Doom this evening. Because I, I fear that people are starting to think I've become a RuneScape channel only, but... Again, I have to stress, I've had a lot of free time in the day due to my ongoing job suspension slash stress illness from work, so... This will not be a normal occurrence. <laughs> in the future. Just gotta make the most of all this free time while I have it, really, I suppose. Looks like someone's killing dwarves. Anyway. Yeah, it's been four weeks now. <laughs> At one point, why consider streaming full-time? Good question. 
The scorpion wants to start me before I even get there. This scorpion thinks it's real smart ass. Consider streaming full time. Uh, I don't think I. No, no. If I ever plan to do that, no time soon. I mean, if I was to be streaming full time, I'd probably have to be earning money off of it. And the problem is, is that I don't earn really a lot. Not that I really think about streaming in that kind of way. <laughs> when I win the lottery, yeah. If I ever win the lottery, you'll suddenly, I'll suddenly do it. That's all I'll do for ages. Or I count the money. Well, at least I'm getting paid for my four weeks. MTX. It's not like I've been unemployed. I may, I'm getting some money coming in. It's just really awkward. I've had to contact the union again to ask for more advice before I call back and ask what's going on. I suspect, though, that they're probably going to fire me at this point or just really incompetent. I don't recall ever promising to do a Doom 64 speedrun. You may be thinking of another streamer. For I am most certainly not a speedrunner. I've never even played Doom 64 yet. Well, this is the area I want to be in. I, I, I've killed two scorpions. I've not even arrived at the coal branch I want to farm from. Unfortunately, it seems there's someone else here. Well, it's kind of good MTX, but it doesn't really help me to decide where my future lies. <laughs> well, maybe next year I will MTX. And of course, it only took five paragraphs for Dave to mention Thief 2. I think he just wants me to play Thief 2 so he can start in his own playthrough. He's just weighing on me. I will now consume a trout. Only heals for seven. <coughs> you see? <coughs> True. Am I ever going to play World of Warcraft again? No. I've decided against playing World of Warcraft again. I was going to consider playing WoW Classic, but I have this now. And also, I don't think WoW Classic would really have lasted that long anyway for me. So, nah. So as you can see here, the problem is that while I, what is a good area for mining coal, due to the fact that it's very close to a bank, it's also for scorpions. If I get to combat level 29, though, the scorpions won't bother me. At least the regular ones won't. King scorpions, well, those have to be avoided. I mean, I think there's one other site I could consider using. But it's a bit more of a run to a bank each time. And I'm not too sure how good it is. I'm pretty sure this is the closest one that's close to, that has all the resources I need. Goodbye, Scorpion. So, I need to mine this coal. Is there another batch around here somewhere? No, this is actually the only, oh no, there's one there. Just a solitary one. It's a bit awkward. Well, I can attempt to mine some coal. Oh, this scorpion looks like he wants to attack me. But he isn't doing for some reason. Perhaps I've already gained the respect of the scorpions and I won't be attacked by them. Would I play Star Wars Galaxies if they brought it back in its original form? No. I don't think I would. I don't really want to get back into MMORPGs, IDQ. QD, at least not like that kind of MMORPG. No, as I say that, there's a scorpion that has decided to attack me. Obviously, I have not gained enough respect yet on this occasion. No problem. 
I do want to fight them to gain combat levels, so no biggie. I figured, Dave. Well, you'll have to wait until next year. And yes, I am working on fixing the job situation. I am looking for other jobs, but it would help to know what's happening with my current one. The second tuna consumed. And I've managed to get another rock. As you can see, this level 40 is not being attacked by the regular scorpions because he's a high enough level to that he doesn't need to worry about them. Well, this is a bit of a different kind of game. I'm, I'm only playing the single player aspect of this, and I don't need. To really interact with other players to like do parties or raids or something. So this is kind of an exception. The appeal of this game is that it's very, uh, well, it's, it's, uh, how to describe it? It's, I suppose one of the factors is the fact that you don't have to um, just you're not you're not just doing quests for the sake of level progression. You could literally progress just by killing things and gaining combat levels. It's the fact that you can like you could literally just cook in this game or chop trees or pray or become a, a blacksmith. You know. I mean, this game was heavily inspired by Ultima Online and stuff, so I think the appeal also is the sense of humor that's in the game for the uh, the quests as well. The quests are very sort of full of a British-style humor, which is very handy. I think those are the kind of the appeals. It's the sort of... Different. I just don't see how us having a 2D bug over and over is fun. I think it's because you gotta use a lot of imagination. I mean, yeah, the graphics aren't great or anything, but and you've been doing that a while. It's, it's also it's 3D. Yeah, it's not 2D. I can switch the camera view anytime. Oh, I got an emerald. And another scorpion wants to attack me. But you could argue that with any kind of MMO, really. What's the appeal in shooting stormtroopers with a laser rifle over and over again? Or what's the appeal of other things? You know? That's kind of the reason why I'm not really going to bother with WoW Classic. It would be fun to revisit some of the old stuff, but I know most of the... WoW Classic experience. I grinded 1 to 60 a long time ago. At least when, at least in this game, eventually, there's going to come a point, which has kind of already started, I'll be seeing new content quite regularly. It'll be a new experience for me. It won't just be, oh, look, here's uh, the Plague Lands again. Here's Stranglethorn Vale. So... The only reason I would have wanted to play Wild Classic anyway is just so I could have raided Molten Core properly and fought Ragnaros. That was my sole intent of playing Wild Classic. To do one raid that I missed when I was back in the day. At least if I'm playing this game, I will be seeing a shit ton of new experiences, which is more fun for me. Plus, this game only charges £5 a month for a subscription. It requires a lot of imagination, sure, but... Well, I possess that, so I don't mind the graphics, really.
And for me, this is just a nice chill stream, IEQ. That's kind of the deal for me. You know, some people play Stardew Valley these days. Some people play um, other similar games. To me, it's RuneScape. I like the game's world. I like the humor. I like the progression system. It's just fun. Very relaxing for me. And things do get more interesting later on, at least as far as I've seen. This is just me grinding a stat. There's a lot of quests that I've not seen before. <laughs> You're on Atari 2600, and that console is all about imagination. Well, yeah, true, it was that. Bye, Scorpion. Back to mining coal. Oh, you gonna bother me now? No. Nope. You thought you were, but you're not going to. You changed your mind. I didn't even realize this game had like a fear mechanic. Like if you kill enough enemies in an area, they start to not bother you as much. But it resets as soon as you finish the area. I mean, except for that buddy King Scorpion, that's kind of a pain in the ass. But even that's leaving me alone for the moment. For some reason. Not that I'm complaining, I'm glad it is leaving me alone. Those things can do four damage a pop. And they're not very pleasant. But even they're not bothering me now. Hmm. Huh. Interesting. I didn't mean I mean, these scorpions have been bothering me because I've killed about 10, 12 of them. They suddenly just decided to leave me alone in mass. Like, they could all attack me within range, but they're not doing. They're just kind of scuttling around. But I, but when I hit level 29 in combat level, the scorpions will leave me alone immediately. Except for these ones. These ones will be always a bit of a menace. But, you know, I can just kite them between a pair of rocks and I can get back to mining. No problem. Unfortunately, it seems I'm not the only player to have discovered this little thing. <laughs> can you play this on Android? I think you can. This very recently came out on mobile phone, IDQ. So, yeah, you could play this on mobile. Absolutely. You can play the RuneScape mobile version. They even offer members trials. Looks like this guy's leaving for now. I might be able to mine these rocks for a moment. Oh, this guy's got some beef with the scorpions. He wants them dead. Good lad. You kill those scorpions. I don't mind these rocks. And you can play this game for free. Alright, you make some toast then, Dave. You can play this game for free, but most of the stuff is locked behind a membership. You can see I've got free quests here, but then there's way more members quests. And a lot more content too. But membership is only £5 a month. But hey, give the game a free try. You'll see a good chunk of the game in the free mode. And there's plenty to do, even in free mode, to, do, to wrap up. Oh, oh this guy also is going to kill. Good. I'm glad he's killing that King Scorpion. He's hitting for 4 damage. But then he's wearing rune... That's not all. Adam Adamantite gear. So he's pretty well armed. That'll be me one day, hopefully. I return with a peanut butter sandwich and milk. Oh, well, he's level 24. He's about to get a root. Oh, unless he's just going to go for the iron. Or whatever. High class cuisine. Mm -mm. Yep, he's being bothered. Especially by 
I don't think you want to fight that scorpion, dude. I really don't think you want to fight that scorpion. Oh, he's just mining the copper tin copper rocks. <laughs> he's got that Christmas bag on his back. <laughs> Someone else does who has done the Christmas quest. Yeah, the scorpions are completely not bothering with me anymore. I've killed enough of them, they respect my power, and that's it, they're done. They don't want to bother with me anymore. This mining will get easier when I hit level 60. There's a mining guild where I can mine completely uninterrupted. And it has everything. And that's probably where I'll end up mining for the rest of the game. Once I hit level 60. Until then, though. I'll have to mine here. It's the closest spot of convenience. I mean, there is a spot that's easier. It has more coal. But the problem is, is that there's also a lot more chance of running into other players. And if there's a, several other players there, then I'm competing. At least here with all the scorpions, it keeps away the bots. Because the scorpions will attack the level 3 bots. So a lot of those types of players don't show up here. They tend to just... Because the scorpions are like a deterrent to that kind of player. Well, if it's if it made it available for Android, yes. I would like to think... Oh, he's almost in trouble there. I'd like to think they made it available, yes. Oh, he's being pestered. Oh, I'm going to go mine two more. Oh, wow. As you can see, even those relatively high-level players will have to occasionally deal with a King Scorpion. So it's a great deterrent for keeping players off my back. Even though it'd be easy, you just circle around the back and it never bothers you. King Scorpion is hungry for flesh. I'm not even being bothered by a king scorpion, which is weird. I guess it applies to all of them. Uh, the class I play, but the thing is, once I go back out the mines, it will reset. So they fear me now, but I'm going to leave, come back, and I'm going to have to kill them again. Which is fine, that's what I want to do, partially. But the 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 uh, the, the the character I got to level sixty was an undead rogue. Mind you, this was before I discovered World of Roguecraft. I didn't play a rogue because it was a PvP king or anything. I played it because I genuinely enjoyed how the rogue played. A lot of people played rogue because they were like the PvP masters in the early days. I only found that out later. No kidding. I only found that out, like, about just before I hit 60. I was like, oh, shit, I'm going to be a PvP master. That's going to be cool, I guess. I just really like the mechanics. Mind you, that being said, previous to that character, I had played a warrior. I played as, like, a gnome warrior, and I was in Struggle Form Veil, and I fought a rogue, and I got killed. And I was like, what the fuck? I'm a warrior. How am I losing to a rogue? That seems a bit weird. And I just thought, okay, I'll try a rogue and see if it plays well. I'll try the undead. I haven't played those yet either. And I saw, I, I played rogue and within five minutes, I was like, wow, the combat is much more fun as a rogue. You have to like stab people. You don't have to worry about stances. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to ditch my warrior and play rogue. Now, as you can see, because I'm back, the scorpions will attack me again. Because, like, they don't... They, it's like they forgot who I was or something. They probably see a lot of adventures come through look similar. So, the hive mind of the scorpions resets. So, I just have to remind them again that I am the scorpion killer. And they should leave me alone. But it'll take a few of their dead brethren to remember it. As you do. It's fine by me. I'm more than happy to bludgeon you scorpions to death. Yeah, the stealth mechanic was really fun. Because that was one of my biggest bugbears of WoW. Was having to fight loads of unnecessary mobs just to get to areas. Like, go kill this boss in the middle of a mine. 
have to kill about 20 enemies to get to it. Or, as a rogue, just sneak past everyone, kill the target, and leave. Hmm, that sounds pretty fun. I'll go for that. I'll go for option B, please. <laughs> I mean, it was really risky if you got caught, but at least, like, you had the option. They hated fighting multiple enemies. It was pretty good. So, basically, I just enjoyed the mechanics of the rogue, and I stuck with it. And only then I discovered afterwards I was a PvP king. But, hey -o, things happen. I don't live in the US, so I can't comment on that. Also, I don't want to try and bring too many politics into this channel. I really can't comment on that, though, because I'm not American, so I don't know what he's actually doing to any anything. Ow, the scorpion is hitting very hard. Damn you, scorpion. Stop hitting so hard. Now taste my Arctic Blast. So, the goal will be to gather 200 and... Oh, for crying out loud. So, the goal here is to gather 280 uh, coal pieces, and then I get two, 140 iron. At least the iron will be easier to acquire. Yo, dude, what's your all-time favorite Doom word? Is it Alien Vendetta? No, it's not. Although, I do like Alien Vendetta. Although there were a couple of stinkers in the last few ten levels or so. Namely those made by Anders Johnson. He just made a couple of ones that I didn't enjoy. I didn't like map 30 either. Well done. But you can't have cheeseburger, unfortunately. <sighs> About to be bothered by another... No. Not being bothered. Oh, here he is. Hi, I'll be your annoying scorpion for today. Would you like me to sting you in the back? He's thinking about it. He's really pondering whether it's worth going for it. Yep, he decided to actually do it. Hmm, that, that armored knight with the shield and the cape and the scimitar. I think I'll have him for dinner. Let's see how that works out for you. Oh, crap, I need to bring my washing in a minute. Right after I get a bunch of coal. I'll chuck it in. There's still a tiny little bit of sunshine left on it, but it's going to get damp in a bit. Uh, raids? I don't know if this game has raids, actually. I believe it does, but I don't know anything about them. So, I'm pretty clueless. Oh god, there's quite a few players trying it out here. You have to deal with the King Scorpion, though. Don't bring it over here. No, I don't want to deal with the King Scorpion. Thank you. Jesus, ow. It's the only problem. I don't want to deal with the King Scorpion because they can really hurt. And I'm not really well equipped for handling them. They're the only thing I'll have to constantly avoid. But, as I said, easy to do so. Now, my, uh, m among my two favorite Doom Wads of all time are Going Down and the Alfonso. But I also enjoyed Hellbound, Pirate Doom, Gun Souls 1, Nova 1 and 2, Joy of Mapping 4 and 5, Winter's Fury. Do some food here. Good thing I packed plenty of trout. Would be worth keeping some of those. Oh. 
Some parties getting fucked. Oh, I'm 27. I'm two levels away from achieving my target. Die, Scorpion. Right. As you can see, this King Scorpion is easily negated. And the best part about it will be is that because it's aggro is on me, I'll be able to just... I won't be targeted by anything else. Really. But I don't have an... But I'll, those will be considered my favorites. My two all-time favorites at the moment. Oh no, are you going to bother me now? Nope. Good. Fear the Scorpion Slayer. Fear him so. Now let's quickly run over here and avoid the King Scorpion. And now this prick wants to fight me. You should have stayed under your underground burrow, Mr. Scorpion. You made a terrible mistake challenging me. Please kill him. Please. Thank you. Oh god, another one's come over. Oh, he's going off. He must have access to the mining guild, I guess. Oh, another scorpion. God. Try to mine. Mine, mine your own business. <laughs> you bloody pest. Please damage the scorpion. What? Come on, damage the scorpion. Man, it really sucks I don't get any battery. Which I mean, signal off this phone from this point in the house. Please kill the scorpion. Thank you. And now, mine the rock. And don't just keep hitting it pointlessly. Come on, dude. You have a runite pickaxe. You have level 41 mining. You're pretty well equipped for the dangers ahead. Ah, nope. You missed. Look at that greedy little scorpion. Hello, Paul Rainia. How you doing? Good to see you. You join me back in the mines for some scorpion fighting again. I have no health things anymore, so this scorpion better die quick. That's it. Kill it fast. Are you serious, gamer? Am I serious, gamer? Hmm. What would be your definition of serious there, December 17, 10, 18? Okay. Right, I've killed enough... I've, have I killed enough scorpions now for you to all start respecting my talents as a formidable warrior now? Again. Or are you just going to attack me in two seconds? No, I think the scorpions have finally learnt their place. Good. Good. I'll just stay here now while the king scorpion attempts to aggro me but is unable to get around the rock. Which is what I'll be doing a lot when I mine here for the serious portion. Just baiting the king scorpions in between rocks and ignoring them. Or oh, you're just very hungry. When will I start speed speedrunning Doom 2? 
Uh, I've never speedrun Doom 2. <laughs> never. Are you mistaking me for somebody else, perhaps? There are other people who do speedrun Doom 2. I'm not one of them. I'm the... I'm a casual Doom player that plays all sorts of Doom ones. But also plays RuneScape as a chill project, because it's very relaxing and I enjoy the game. That's enough reason for me. What's the forgiveness thing I'm going to start speedrunning do? I've been asked in the past to try speedrunning. Hello, Dubs. How are you doing? I have cons I, I have said that I would consider at some point attempting speedrunning, but that was never any time in the near future. It's just a, a thing I may try at some point, just to see how I do. And I probably wouldn't do it with Doom 2 either, it would probably be Ultimate Doom. Maybe. Most of your max maps. Who is my favourite English football club? My favourite English football club is Preston, the one I support. Although I don't live in the city, I live, I live within a reasonable travelling distance of it, so... That is my favourite English football club. Well, I'm going to mine these coals and then I'm going to put the washing in. Why would I want to support Real Madrid? I, I don't live in Spain and I don't like Real Madrid. <laughs> Please give me your reasons why I should start supporting them. The old black? What, New Zealand? That's rugby. Oh no, this guy is also immune to the things. Is he going to mine with me? No, he's going to leave. He's going to switch worlds. I don't really watch a lot of rugby, but if I do watch rugby, I'll be supporting England, not the All Blacks. <laughs> American hand egg. Mmm, I do. Well, I do mean the NFL and football, American football. I've tried to watch it three times, and I haven't watched a good match yet. Each of the three times I've watched games that have been one-sided and haven't been entertaining for me. But I'm, I want to try... I support fake Madrid. Oh, is that what they pretend to be from Madrid, but actually they're from, like, down the road or something? That sounds like a protest group football club. Oh, I am level 42 mining, and I can mine volcanic sulfur. In case I feel like dying or something. Well, that's another world of uh, coal for the coal factory. I want to try and watch an NFL game. I do watch the Urinating Tree. I subscribe to Urinating Tree. So I get most of my information on American football from his channel. Right, more coal deposited. How much do we have now? We're, oh, we're actually quite close to the 280 target. That's pretty good. Okay, let's deposit... Where did I put the fish? One, two, three, four traps. Oh. Yes, I get that, but I would it would be nice if it, that kind of actually existed. 
So I don't really have much thoughts on American football, but then apparently it's not doing too well at the moment. Because it's oversaturated. Kind of like how regular football is oversaturated as well. So that's a thing. Right, I'm just going to put my washing in, so I'll be back in a moment. Please enjoy the music. Okay. Sour please. <laughs> Thunder's weak. I don't know. Where's my camera thing? Hold on a sec. Just need to disable that for a moment. <laughs> Sort this out. And we'll be back in the game momentarily as soon as I've hung this washing off. Which hopefully won't take too long. Avoiding the AFK kick by doing that slight movement there.
Jesus. Alright, almost done. Almost done. Right. Ugh. God. Oh, shut up, Dave. <laughs> Sheep too, like I never said I wouldn't. Exactly, I never said I would. Stop putting the pressure on me. Alright. Washing has been dealt with, now I can carry on my day. Sort of. I need to check what this voicemail is though. Apparently I've missed a message. Oh for God's sake. Excuse me! Mr. Scorpion. Leave me alone. Two seconds everyone. received my voicemail. Yeah, it's pretty much answered my question. No, it's not good news really, Dave. It was from the union that I'm in. They can't really do much until I receive some information from work, so... I'm going to have to call work up after the stream's over and... Uh, ask them what the fuck's going on. I was kind of hoping to call them after I'd received some information from the union, but they said they can't really do much until I receive some contact from work, so just gonna have to badger work to get an answer. It's only been four weeks. And I'm now level 23 attack. Which doesn't raise my combat level yet, but I'm sure it will shortly. Just some more of that. And I'll probably get attacked by the scorpion. Well, I've been suspended for over since four weeks last Friday, Paul. It was suspended while they were investigating something that happened. I will have mentioned this in a sweet state previous, but. I've had my investigation meeting is the thing. 
I had it like on the Wednesday the week after, and then I've just heard absolutely nothing since. Apparently they've not really been working on it. Apparently. But I'm pretty convinced that they just want to fire me. So maybe it's it's one of two routes, Paul. They either want to fire me outright, or they want to, or they're just incompetent and they just haven't really got around to it yet, for whatever reason. It's actually killing him with the pickaxe he's using. <laughs> Probably really handy later on. There, we got that level of attack level. I just smack him with the Runite pickaxe. That'll do. It's technically a weapon. I mean, this. I called him like two weeks ago and asked what was going on, and they said they'd I'd hear something last week, but I've heard nothing. So I don't know what the deal is, Paul. But they ain't talking. The last thing I'd heard, though, is that they were having some problems. Well, I'd like to think so, but I am not anticipating anything good. Even if I go back to work, I'm still going to work for another job elsewhere. I, I can't work in that environment anymore. It's bad for me. It's, it's a toxic environment. And I don't want to surround myself with negativity anymore. But it doesn't help not knowing what's going on. But, you know. What is my job? I work as a teaching assistant for a private company. So it's more like care work, really. This guy's getting slammed. Bomb is he might, the scorpion might turn on me. I don't want that. And the one thing I've learned recently and have known for a while is that private care is kind of shit. It genuinely is. I want to get out of working that kind of stuff because it's horrible. So, that's what I'm working on doing. Don't leave the King Scorpion over you. Oh, wait, it's not King Scorpion. Never mind. I thought it was a King Scorpion for a second. <laughs> not. It's just a regular Scorpion. Right, let's get back to mining. I'm actually close to getting 280. That'd be really great if I could do that as well. Although, I will have to. We'll see. The main priority, though, is just to gain enough combat level so these Scorpions don't bother me anymore. I could, I should just just focus on fighting the scorpions, to be honest. But I want to mine coal at the same time. Try and ease the grind a bit. Yeah, I've been looking elsewhere, but I've not really had too much joy yet. Although well, at the moment, I'm not the best motivated to do that because I don't. I need to get my mental health back to a good state because I've had a like a few weeks ago. On the day I, my suspension was announced, I actually had a full-blown breakdown in the house. And that's led to me being realizing that I've been very stressed at work. So, I've never had that kind of problem before. I mean, I've had bad days at work, I just kind of shrug off or whatnot. But I've never had a full blown breakdown. The kind where I was saying I'm worthless and I need to quit everything and just work and sleep and do nothing else. It was a pretty. I've never said anything like that before. Kind of scary, really. Anywho, no, King Scorpion, leave me alone, please. Thank you. You stay there and be a good Scorpion and leave me alone. No. No. Good Scorpion. Good boy, you stay over there and don't attack me ever. I shall mine these rocks in peace. 
Please mind the box. Oh, you want to nibble? You will die. This guy is so high level, even the King Scorpion is not going to bother with him. King Scorpion's too focused on me anyway. The fool! Okay. You go bye bye now. Bye bye. Now to mine the box. Mine the rock, mine the rock, mine the rock, mine the rock. Mind the rock in peace. Please mind the rock. Very good. Can nip on this fish. Oh, you want to attack me, do you? What the hell? And I'll try and cross my fingers as hard as I can. I'm crossing them. Look at me crossing them. But I'm afraid to say that it looks like they're probably just going to wait. I I honestly expect that they'll contact me. 25 on HP. Nice. I'm a quarter of the way to maximum HP capacity. Which is 99. <laughs> you can probably get more than 99 hit points, but it'll probably have to be buffed or something for it. But I'm half expecting to hear from them on Friday, just before Christmas, to which they'll say, oh, by the way, you're fired, and we've waited four weeks because we've been getting a replacement in. I wouldn't be surprised if they took that option, honestly, being the cowards they are. Wait until, wait until I can't come in work for two weeks and then fire me. Because, Paul Rainier, I'm not one of the in club, basically, to put it in short. The person who took over the, uh, has been hiring people a lot based on if they know her. And a lot of what goes down in the private curse sector is based on if you're in the management club or not. But I don't really know. I mean... That would be part of the reason. I mean, I made an honest mistake, sure, but... They are, don't help by not caring for their staff members. I mean, you could argue that's a way in a lot of companies, but the difference is, is that in a lot of other companies, you don't work with people's lives, and... You get paid a, a respectable wage. Yeah, exactly. And then putting all the focus on them sorting it out instead of it being a management problem is basically what it comes down to. You know, oh well, all usernames are taken 12. You just found the stream, what's happening? Well, I'm mining coal. And combat levels. My goal is to basically uh, hit 29 so the scorpions will leave me alone. I can't do anything about the king scorpions, but I can so certainly keep the regular scorpions off my back. But this is a, a long-term project of mine where I'm aiming to get all my skills to 99 and complete all the quests on this uh, thing here. But mainly I play a lot of old school first person shooters and Doom Wards, mainly. This is a side project of which I've recently come into a lot of free time for playing it. <laughs> Since it started, so... And that pretty much is what's been happening. Also, I've just been raided by Ultima Mantoids. Oh no. 
A Mantoid Invasion. Hello, Ultima Mantoids and Raiders. How are you all doing? Which which doom are you up to now in your doom -sember? I wonder. <laughs> hey, Vines Rex, how you doing? And Power Wolf 1097. Mantoid raid thing message thing. Yes, that's right. You just finished Doom 3, so you'll be starting Resurrection of Evil tomorrow. And you'll be able to finish it tomorrow because of how short it is, but also it was pretty fun. Well, I find it to be pretty fun anyway. I definitely preferred Resurrection of Evil over actually Doom 3. Gameplay wise. I actually... Well, fair enough. I just found Resurrection of Evil a lot more fun. I think it was because it was shorter. It had new weapons and boss progression and... It actually... Well, it's just a thing at the time. Almost done with this coal bunch. Fortunate we do this competition, but there won't be as much as there would be if I went to that area. Oh, I won. Ah! Go over there! Looks like this guy's also just, like, just farming the scorpions to me. Doom Free is a game you've never finished. Maybe you should finish that, Dave. Maybe if you finish Doom Free, I might start playing Thief 2. There is all available in this rock. Now acquire it. Good me. Right up the stairs we go. With our fresh, meaty substance. Hmm, I'm going to straight to hit my targets in time for the end of the stream, but... Anyway. I'm fine, yeah. Doom 3 is a great game I have played many times. I... Well, if that's the case, you'll never be playing Thief 2. So, how... Why do I mine coal? Because... I'm going to get smithing, eventually. I want 280 coal and 140 iron so I can make a lot of steel. And also because I'm not going for the most efficient XP slash GP approach at this moment in time. I'm trying to be self-sufficient. <laughs> There's a lot about this game I do not know. All usernames are taken 12, and I'm slowly discovering them. So. Also, I don't intend to be playing this a massive amount of time in the future. This is, again, this is a long term chill stream project. I'm not, at the, I'm not currently aiming to be the most efficient XP slash GP user. Don't get me wrong, though. As I get to the later levels, that approach will most likely change due to the grind being longer. And then I will probably have to start being more efficient. At this moment in time, however, I'm just happy to play this way. I don't know. I always felt Doom 3 was very mad. The only thing I enjoyed was the hell section. It's not bad, though. Just meh. That's kind of how I feel about Doom 3 as well. It's not that Doom 3 is bad or anything. I mean, it isn't. I won that fight. That's two players here now. The sad thing is, neither of them are high enough level to be Scorpion bothered. Also, that guy's giving up, which is good. Ooh, I thought he was going to attack me then. Oh. Oh, no. That Oh, ow! He hit him for four and ran off. Alright. So 
all very good. Oh god, I don't like these king scorpions being around. I don't want to be attacked by one. Because they're very annoying. I can at least deal with the regular size scorpions. <laughs> Those are maybe the bludgeon. Not the big ones. Oh, got a bit of lag there. Oh, Skunk Dragon Gaming. It doesn't feel like Doom. Yeah, I suppose they went for more horror focus, but it's not that scary. Oh, 24 combat level? I mean, uh, attack level, sorry. Ooh, I'm level 28. I am now one level away from being Scorpion Free, uh, regular Scorpion Free. Once I hit 29, the Scorpions will not bother me anymore. And I can be left in peace to mine freely. Except for these guys. Those guys will always bother me. Although I don't know, maybe it's double? It's either 28, it's either double or double plus one is the level where they stop bothering me. Maybe I've just hit it now. Perhaps 20 extras have to be double the level. Exactly and beyond, and you're sorted. The problem I had with Doom 3 was that it's it's kind of average, and you go to hell for a bit, and then... Okay, it's 29. Fair enough. The problem I had with Doom 3 was that they send you to hell at some point, and then they don't just leave you there. For, like, the majority... I felt that once they sent you to hell, with all the build-up that the game gave to it, it should have just kind of stayed there. And not gone back. Hello, Doom underscore RO. How are you doing? I'm hoping to play your map this evening, after my uh, Iron Eagle attempt. I mean, Doom 2016 sort of did the same thing, but... Well... The difference was Doom 2016 massively changed. Well, for one thing, Doom 2016 was more fun. Also, Doom 2016, while it sort of did the same thing, at least had different earlier when you went back to the regular thing. I mean, you went back to the tech-based stuff, but it was ruined, and then there was that really cool ice bit. So at least they mixed it up the variety of where you went once you went back to uh, Mars. But also, yeah, do see. And then there was the whole. Uh, it, 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 it's just like. The, in Doom 3's case, considering that like you spend a good eight hours in tech based stuff, growly and slowly making your way through the tech bases, through the labs, through Alpha labs, through Thingy labs, through the MPro plant, through whatever. Once you went to hell, you should have just stayed there for the rest of the game and not come out. Maybe a brief, tiny excursion just to grab a weapon or something. Which is what pretty much what you did when you did actually come out. You went to get a weapon, BFG, and that was it. Thank you for letting us know, Dave. Yeah. Well, it introduced the Soul Cube at one point, which was cool, but it just it's just that not really much happened. Things did pick up once you went to hell, though, that being said. No doubt about it. Maybe I was afraid it'd end up like Zen in Half-Life. Well, maybe, but Zen in Half-Life is different to Hell in Doom. Yeah, the textures are great. And that's really what Doom 3 kind of was. A tech demo of sorts. It showed off the great capacity of the id tech engine. Hello, Basil. But it was more about the textures and the graphics. The gameplay was just very meh. And that's why I like Resurrection of Evil more. Resurrection of Evil did a bit more to mix up the gameplay a bit. And it was also, like, shorter. 
they should have been bowled a bit from Half-Life 2, but they had that cool little, whatever it was, that artifact which you powered up slowly by killing bosses. And as you killed the bosses, you gained new abilities, and then you sort of changed those new abilities, and you had the super shotgun, and you had a sense of better gameplay progression, which I felt was lacking with, um... No, it contains coal. Now mine it. Oh, for God's sake. I saw the first bit of Resident Evil was pretty sweet. Even though they just kind of wanted to boost the gravity gun from Half-Life 2. Immediately, as soon as I even try to touch the rock, another one comes in. I'm one level away from ignoring you guys for a while. What can I say? I have a soft spot for Doom 3, especially after using its textures. We'll make more stuff with it. Quite a few people like the Doom 3 textures and stuff. I know it was someone made a weapon uh, graphic replacement for Doom 3 using the sound as well. And it will be quite interesting to play your wad tonight. I mean, I'm going to play the Iron Eagle, which will be Crumpets, but I don't expect to last very long on that because it's Crumpets. And, well, it's going to be tough. But then after that, I'm going to do some play testing of a couple of maps. Depending on how much time they take, I have plans to do uh, your set, Doom, Row, and also another one that is a first time map set of about 12 maps so and maybe one other after that if I have time this map is supposed to be played without running but you can ignore it if you want without running it's an interesting requirement a doom map where you're not allowed to run you got my interest there <laughs> Don't run in my Doom map, please. <laughs> Why do create a survival horror feel but still feel like should packed? Alright, I'll try to remember that. Uh... Without running. Interesting. I'll have to try to remember that for when I play it myself. I have to try it without running. Uh, no, Dave. Sorry, Thief 2 will take too long to play test. If you, if you ask for it too many more times, Dave, I'm going to uninstall the game and delete it and not play it. You know. I'm going to start getting suspicious of why you keep asking for it. Maybe it's a bad game. You never know. You know. I don't want to call you a badger. But. You know. You starting to be like one of those. What do they call them? The charity people in town. Yeah. That's, that's exactly why you're doing it Dave. You're doing it so you can immediately start playing Thief to yourself. You know. You should be able to play Thief 2 without waiting for me. <laughs> no, not Jehovah's Witnesses. There's a, there's a term for it where it's like the charity people of town that like ask for, for the, not like beggars, but like something else when they have like the leaflets or the books or something. There's like a specific term for them. I forgot what it was called. Oh, I think the scorpions might have learnt to fear me now. 
Good scorpions. Uh oh. Oh no, he can't be barred by the king because he's double weight. He's two. Well, well, it's 32 to 67, so he's way above the level for it. It's good. Should keep attacking more scorpions, but. I like the coal! Can I say? Yep, the music is all coming from the game. I tend to like leaving the music running for the game. We can have that one. I won't be too greedy. He wants to stick around. Look at that bloody thing. It's desperately trying to kill me, but it's not going to have much joy. Yeah, a few people... I, I think... I don't know if anyone's actually used RuneScape music before for a Doom word, but there is a lot of good MIDI style tracks that I think would work well in Doom Wards. There is a decent amount of music out there too. There's all of this. And you'll want the tracks by visiting the various sections. I think there's quite a decent amount of music that would be worth listening to. It's definitely a good source of... Uh, I definitely think if there's any sort of new Doom mappers who want to have sort of a distinctive musical flavour to their maps, check RuneScape's music library out. I think there's some good stuff in there that would be well work well for some Doom maps. The title makes it sound like I'm streaming Dwarf Fortress. Oh, God. Dwarf Fortress? Toof. That'd be something. Bloody Dwarf Fort. The most complicated games ever devised by one person. Hey, also, hi, Jexy. How are you doing? RuneScape.ward community project soon, then. Yo, a RuneScape community project. How cool would that be? Even I'd consider making a map for that. Won't be a very good map, but it'd be something. I would probably re I would probably try to remake um, the mind area for the rune crafting. Sasha Gray. Oh right, December's still here with. Um, why are you saying Sasha Gray out of the blue there, December? Oh, wow, I actually have too many trout now. Should have thought of that. If... Uh, I need to go and call my work. At some point. Oh, I found a ruby. I don't cut ruby, but one nevertheless. So I'll have that to my inventory. Let's see if I can mine before this guy finishes so I can get out of here. There we go. One more. Oh, I'm way off game 43. It's going to be a while. Alright. Last rock. Come on, there we go. Ah, no you don't. You're not attacking me. Goodbye. Leave me alone, you pest. But yeah, if there was a runes... You're just wondering who that was. Two forty-one. Nice. 
If I get two more good runs out of the 280 needed. Which is pretty good. Run, run, run. Oh, hang on. Someone wants me here. Just, what do you want? Private Rev P, attention! You've been recommended for my corpse. Do you think you can be the best? Sir, yes, sir. Move yourself, Private. Follow my orders and you may. Just may we be in a fit state for my corpse. Drop and give me push-ups on that mat, Private. Push-ups. Go to this mat and do some push-ups. Okay. Ah, uh, I better use the push-ups quick. Ooh, 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 ooh. Get yourself over there and jog on my mat, private. Go on this mat and jog on the spot. Okay. It's mine 69. Get yourself over there and jog on that mat, private. Okay. And this music is Corporal Punishment. Wrong exercise, worm. Drop and give me puzzles on that mat, private. Is that the wrong exercise? Oh, he changes it. You cunning bastard. It keeps changing around. Ah, I see. I want to see you on that mat doing star jumps, private. Star jumps. This music would work very well in RP. Yeah, you can see it breaking like an RPG type thing. I'm doing star jumps in full armor. Okay, need to jog. Jog, 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 jog. Get on that map and give me setups, private. Okay, setups. I want you to see how I'm doing star jumps, private. Okay. I'm on the right map for it. Star jumps. One and two and one and two and one and two and one and two. Well, I'll be. You actually did it, private. Now take this and get out of my sight. Boosh. Ooh. He gave me a camo top. Hey, all right. I got a camo top. Go, cool, I guess. I'll go put that in the bank. What's that green stuff on the ground? Those are mats. I vaguely remember seeing RuneScape back around 10 years ago or so. My version might have still been 2D though. Well, this is RuneScape 2, as it was called. And he just kicks me up out. Yeah, that's what he does. The random event has gone. <laughs> Well, now I've, hopefully that exercise will convey over to real life and <laughs> imagine if I did write some star jumps in tune to the actual ones needed, that'd be something. Oh, and thank you for the follow, Cyberdemon1542, or Doom Row. That'll be useful for you later on when I'm doing the Doom stream. Can someone shut the door? Leave the door open, fool! Right, back to mining, or attempting to mine. But there are scorpions everywhere. Now, let's see if I can get another round of coal in. You're the guy who hates revenants, right? The guy who hates revenants. Yes, I don't like revenants too much. This guy has... Whoa, he has runite gear. He's pretty well equipped. Melee-wise... Oh, this guy's 56. He's like, way not going to be bothered by... Eh? Oh, this scorpion wants me, I think. Yep, the scorpion wants a piece of me. Well, good, I want a piece of you too. That leg, that leg, and that pincer, please, in a pot. Well, it's a good thing I removed the resins at the start of the map. Some people liked it, but others thought it was annoying. 
A reference at the start of the map can sometimes be interesting, but it really depends on the map, I guess. I guess it really depends on how, on what purpose the Revenant was there. I don't want to get tangled with that. I want that fucking rock. Ah, oh, man. I do not want miners like this. People who are immune to scorpions and are mining here. This is not particularly good for me. Then again, I'm mainly here to fight scorpions to get my combat level. The mining can happen later once I'm left alone, I guess. He's not immune to king scorpions, though. Despite his level and his... He's wearing, like, dark wizard gear, I think. Um, This particular version, I think, has been around since around 2003. He killed that scorpion awfully fast. Damn. Scorpion didn't last very long at all. Not good. Uh, I got that rock, though. So a small victory for me. Well, Jigginx have been around since 1999. Uh, what are you doing? No, oh, okay. No, I don't want the King Scorpion on me. Thank you. You stay over there and leave me alone. I'll take you on now. And what does it do different from something like World of Warcraft? What does it do different? Um... Well, for one thing, it has lots of different skills to level up. It has a skill-based level system instead of just a, you know, like a... You get... You kill things and... It has a sort of open-ended nature to what you want to do. It's not like you are just... Like in Skyrim. I suppose, upset that you don't have to, like, go to a stat screen after you level up and pick traits and stuff. You just... It's... The game, RuneScape itself, was heavily inspired by Ultima Online. And is considered, like, an Ultima Light edition of that game. Oh, God, he's got two King Scorpions surrounding him. Or one for each. John's repeat. Was work through a lot of your logs. Can't actually find any records on this. Are you for or against LBGTQ acceptance? That is like... You're like the question... The random question person today, December. Am I for... That's a very random question to throw out there. You've asked me if I support Real Madrid. You've asked if I support the Bucks, and now you throw that question? Wow. Um, I'm pretty much for the acceptance, if you want an answer. I am now 25! But that doesn't raise me up enough level to avoid the Scorpions of Doom yet. But I'm not no switch to Slash, the more aggressive style training at least. The Fort Police. Well, to put it short, we am four. I mean, one of my moderators is sort of trans, I guess. That's my short answer. However, I don't accept scorpions. Scorpions will die. I'm afraid scorpions is where I draw the limits. Because they, they stop me from mining rocks. And I can't accept that. Well, let's be honest. It's going to get that out of the way. Although, really, on that kind of issue, I'm really just kind of neutral, mostly. I just don't really talk about it. Because I have no business in it. Aha! I can mine these rocks and then kill this scorpion that is desperately trying to kill me. Hey, Spinzy. How's it going? Oh, for God's sake, and his friend shows up. Eh, you can't mine this rock. 
I want you to die! I want to mine this rock. Peace! Hmm, huh, I wonder if I get my strength up high enough on this, I'll be able to hit five. Or what, I don't know. Guess we'll find out. Yeah, I like the music in RuneScape. It's pretty relaxing and it usually fits whatever area it's in. This music is called Cave Backgrounds. How long does it take to get the Adamantium set? I don't know, you could just you could probably just buy a set if you wanted to. But how long? Well, um You'd have to get your smithing level to about it, it be, it's between, I think, 75 to 90. So probably quite a while, if you want to make it yourself anyway. Oh, let's go it's immediately in. It's tag teaming me. Although, it can only attack one at a time in this area. Ouch. Oh, well. I can let you know in a moment for definite once I kill this thing. To just interrupt my stat screen. I am hitting for four with this, which is good. Okay, please die. Thank you. I'll take that and I'll mine this rock now. Right, there we go. Now well, let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. You need to be level 70 to be able to make smithing in adamant, so... Oh, God's sake. Well, I am mildly impressed because it takes so long to... To actually wear adamantite, though, you have to be at a certain level, mind you. You can't just immediately wear it because you got to be a certain level in uh, defense to actually equip it. Hey, white t-shirts. In September, I think they released an orchestral collection of RuneScape tracks recorded at Abbey Road by a Philharmonic... Really? Wow, that's pretty cool. Alright, I'm... I've eaten my last trout. So let me try and look at that again. Thank you, level. So, yeah, you, you'd start making stuff at level 70, and you can make plate bodies at level 88 mining uh, smithing so to get that full set you'd have to be level 88 in um adamant and to wear adamantium gear you have to be level 30 in defense i can wear mithril at the moment and yak hide and initiate armor and shazian armor but put it shortly you gotta be level 30 in defense to use things that does sound pretty good, actually. I've not heard a lot of RuneScape because I haven't played a lot of it, but that sounds like something I'd want to do later. I'd have to check that out. If I was to make a Doom map in the future, I would definitely consider using a RuneScape track if I could find one that was, like, appropriate. So, yeah, basically, if you want to make the set, you have to wait to way later in the smithing, and if you want to use the set you have to get all three defense which is quite takes a lot less time but it's still a considerable amount suspenseful hell level. yeah you could use it like a cave level or something definitely i mean there are some action pack tracks as well it has all kinds of spook there's a spooky track for instance where it goes into mana Available for streaming on Spotify. Alright. Oh, a bit of lag there. And both of us has logged in. What quest have I done so far? Um, so far, I have done Cook's Assistant, Doric's Quest, Goblin Diplomacy, The Knight's Sword, The Restless Girls, Rune Mysteries, and The Sheep Shearer. I'm currently not a member yet. I'm not going to be a member until I've done all the free quests. As my long-term goal is, this is a long, 
I'm really sound like I'm going to repeat myself so many times saying this to everyone new that keeps coming in, but it does help to set the picture, I suppose. My long-term goal of this chill stream project is for me to hit level 99 in every skill and do all the quests on this list. <laughs> I am planning to do a couple more quests in the next couple of parts because my main goal for today is to hit combat level 29 so the scorpions won't bother me so I can start mining a lot of coal here in the future and I won't be disturbed by them. Because I'm also going to be smithing quite a bit. I want to get through the steel bit over the next couple of parts. Which is going to take a lot of coal and a lot of iron and yada yada yada. Also, while this guy's fine, this guy is AFK, I'm going to steal his rock. Because I just want to get this coal. Yep, it's a long-term go, though, white t-shirts. And this is not even the main kind of stuff I usually play. I normally play a lot of old school first person shooters and Doom ones. The only reason I'm getting a lot of time at the moment is because I am currently suspended from work and I'm waiting for them to get back in touch with me, which is unlikely to be happening anytime soon. Normally these will be a lot more spread out, so that's why it's a long term thing. But I am quite uh, hooked on the game at the moment. It's a nice chill stream project, you know. Compared to playing Doom and old school first person shooters anyway, it is. Why well, also play Doom 3 Phobos? What's that? Oh, no, 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 no. I don't want any part of that King Scorpion. No, that King Scorpion is a problem. I would prefer players not to lead them towards me. Oh, you're another one who used to watch me on Dope Lives, eh? That's not me getting attacked. That's the other guy. He's, he's decided he's had enough of that scorpion. He's going to beat its ass. A good decision, really. He's all... Wait, he's all 32. Oh, he must be attacking him on purpose. To get the experience. Fair enough. I would, I'll would. I'll probably do that on occasion while mining here. Just to get a bit of XP. I reckon. Although most likely I'll probably just happily mine in peace. The Doom 3 expansion pack that has been development for 14 years. It's out now, at least the first part. Yeah, he's just attacking them on purpose, isn't he? That's pretty cool. 14 years, but only the first part. I'm not, I'm not really that interested in playing Doom 3 stuff, though. Mine. No, not mine. Not mine at all. Asmon Gold? You never asked for your thoughts on Asmon Gold. I don't know what that is. That is pretty crazy. But then Total Chaos was started in 2008, and that only just started, came out this year. Some projects take a while to come out, I guess. I don't know what Asmon Gold is. <laughs> You'd have to tell me. They should call you December I Ask Random Questions of Streamers. <laughs> I wouldn't mind answering some of them. Alright, three more coal pieces and I can get... Oh, shit, I'm... Oh, that's a good one. Might be important. Two sex.
All right, there we go. So I was just got a call there. Yeah, I was I was answering a, a phone call. <laughs> oh, I've never heard of Asmongold. I didn't watch a lot of streams back then. I only discovered live streaming in 2009, actually. Yeah, I used to play the game in vanilla. I didn't, I didn't play any point before that. All right, I need three more trout. Oh. I only need 12 more coal, and now I've got all the coal I'll need for this part. But I'll just mine a few more anyway, because I know I'm going to need a shit ton more. Oh, I'm back. They were teens when they started, and now they're in their 30s. It's made by guys who made RTC 3047. Alright. Yeah, Tom's alright. No, I haven't played Wrecker. That was the uh, Viking themed sort of medieval doomy ward thing. I think. Yeah, I'd, I'd heard of that. That was another one I was kind of interested in playing, but not quite the same level of interest as Struggle and Going So Tick. Okay, so it looks like my stream can go on for a little tiny bit longer. At least until I can get this coal bit done. Then I can go mine some iron, which is more peaceful. It's better than 90% of most indie shooters out there. Alright. Maybe I'll check it out next year. There's quite a few other Doom ones I want to play before that, though. Mainly Struggle on Gone Souls 2. I'll probably talk about this in my sweet state, but next year my plans are going to be a little different from this year. My approach to streaming is going to be a little bit different. Swish, swish. I even got to the cooking coal and there's like an army of scorpions waiting to fight me. They're all so keen. Well, I'm keen to fight them too. So let's just get it over with. These guys are aggressive, so I'm going to just be aggressive on top of them. Screw you, scorpions. 21. Still only 28 in combat level, though. Unfortunately. I want to be 29. I want to be 29. So I don't have to fight these scorpions compulsory anymore. I can just be left alone. Your plans are going to be very different. Very different. Ah. Yes, I guess they are. Finish it off. Come on. Yeah! Get fucked, Scorpion. There we go. Oh, jeez. Another one. Be honest, I'm addicted to the game. Possibly only slightly. But, well, Dave makes a good point. At least I'm not taking crack. But nah, this is only a chill stream thing. I just have a lot of free time right now. I mean, honestly, if I had a... I mean, honestly, I would stream Doom right now. But the thing is, is that a lot of the people who come to my channel on a regular basis aren't on at this time of day. I tried to stream Doom once in the daytime, and a lot of people missed it. Plus, nighttime streaming for me is my regular time when I'm usually free anyway. So. That's why, partially why this stream is here. It allows me to stream something when I'm free in the daytime. 
when I have those odd moments of like time where I don't want to play Doom, gives me another option, a chill option, if you will. Dave is right. You could be addicted to painkillers. You're never touching that stuff again. Hard wicked. <laughs> check, check, you <yourself. laughs> But Dave, it's not even three o'clock yet. Surely you can wait. Yeah, you kill that scorpion, and I'll mine this rock. Because I like mining rocks. I want all the coal. I'm so close to my target of 280. Just got to get a few more things. Come on. Come on. Hurry up. You gimp. There we go. That's what I want. At least with the iron, it'll be a lot more peaceful. Just a lot more running involved. <laughs> oh, this scorpion is hungry. This scorpion wants me. Well, good. I want it as well. Jack Daniels is ass. I don't think I have a RuneScape edition now. I have a live stream edition, perhaps. You might not be wrong there, December, but not specifically to RuneScape, I would have thought. <laughs> I'd rather be addicted to RuneScape, yeah. Gotta mine more rocks. Four in the morning, I wake up just so I can mine those precious mithril ores or fish. And then uh, with my tired eyes and my stereotypically sort of morning shadow and I haven't eaten in days because I have to cook it first and my in real life cooking level isn't good enough to cook pizza. Madness. You're from Romania. Well, I'm from UK. Oh, I'll explain your username on Doom then. Doom RO. Nice. Damn it, Scorpion! Oh, as you get to mine that rock. Ah! You didn't stop me from mining the rock! Can't stop the rock! Eat my blade, pesky scorpion. I'm from my first monk. You're from a wow stream. <laughs> that makes no sense whatsoever, Dick. <laughs> Pennsylvania. I don't have any thoughts on Meghan Markle whatsoever. But, and as is being honest, <laughs> I have no thoughts about that at all. Like a trap question. If I answer wrong, I get arrested by the royal police or something. <laughs> Put, I can see that sniper on the roof. You can come down now. Don't send the scorpion over to me. Oh my mind, I'm out to bludgeon him, but no, that's uh, Andrew and Merkel. No, Meghan Markle is uh, she an actress, a model, or something? And who got married to one of the princes and is now going to have a lifetime of luxury and royal prestige? I guess. There was a wedding. She had a wedding this year. It was a big deal. Upset I didn't care about it because I don't care that much about the royals. <laughs> I seem genuinely clueless. 
Yeah, I really don't. Cheers! <laughs> I don't really bother that much with that kind of stuff. I have my own problems to deal with. Unfortunately, I, I, I am a... I'm a peasant. And we peasants must thrive to survive. That being said, it's nice that our tourist industry is at least going to still be popular. That's what the Royals are there for, right? To, provide, to, to help support the tourism of our country. And they do a good job of that, so keep on going. Fund our British tourist stuff. Whatever. And I am now level 22 strong. And finally, level 29. Which means, if my calculations are correct, this is the last time I will be mandatorily attacked by a fucking scorpion. Fuck you, scorpion. Now leave me alone. Forever. Now I can mine in peace. The scorpions will no longer bother me since I'm too high level and they fear my mighty power. Or something like that. Oh, except for the king scorpions. They are still a threat. But these will no longer attack me anymore. I have done it. Now I can mine in peace. Mostly. The British are really creepy. That guy, that guy seriously tried to fish you for racism. Now he's gone. Race? Well, I'm not racist, so you won't get any more there. Oh, the, the account was created one hour ago. Oh, I should have looked at that. The British are really creepy. Oh yes, we are creepy. That's right. We're creepyos. Be beware our beware our mighty creepiness as we fail to negotiate things properly and <laughs> there's a possibility in a couple of years' time that we British will be the great immigrants of the world. <laughs> it's always a possibility. I certainly know I might not have, I'm keeping my eye on a few possible countries to move to. If shit hits the fan one day. Oh, I am my old 43. Nice. That's good. So you can see now, I'll, I'll, I guess I should probably do a litmus test and see if the scorpions leave me alone if I exit the area. So let's test it. Alright. I'm going to leave the area. I'm popping back in the area. I am walking past the scorpions and they are ignoring me. Because I am so high level now. I am 29. I am twice the level plus the 1. Now the scorpions will leave me alone and never touch me again. And now I can mine this area completely at peace for as long as I damn well please. Except for dodging the occasional king scorpion which I'll just juke around the rock and then I'll just keep going. So I've done it. Scorpions are no longer a threat to me. Unless I choose to smack them in the face but I'm not going to do that. I'm here to mine. The scorpions are there to keep out everyone else from bothering me. Could always move to the Republic of Ireland. Uh, I don't know if I'd move there. But it's an option. Uh, that is a Runite pickaxe. Someone very generously gave it to me. I've been quite lucky so far in this game. I've had quite a few people give me some cool stuff. The other, a couple of parts ago, someone gave me 150,000 in gold coins. Didn't know who it was, but they gave it me. So I now have a decent amount of wealth. 
I was saving up to buy a Runeite pickaxe, but someone gave me one. I forget who it was. But I have one, and that's going to be really useful. Right. Another thing I've accomplished in this stream. I have mined all the coal I'll ever need. And I finally am scorpion free. I can now mine in any scorpion area free of harassment from them. Which is really, 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 really fucking good. And I've mined all the coal. And I've got my cooking skill. This has been a very profitable stream for me. So I now have 295 coal. That's going to be enough for the coal. I now need to get 140 iron ores. And then I can have a good 20 runs of steel smithing. But that will be next time. For I have things to do. <laughs> the work in the coal mines is never done. Yeah. I can now officially start working on the steel grind of smithing. Over the next couple of parts, I'm going to be focusing on getting that smithing from 37 to 50. Which means lots of coal mining and lots of iron mining. But also in between, I will be doing quests, so it's not entirely tedious for everyone. So this, I've also got my um, fishing to 30 and my cooking to 30. So I'm pretty good for food for a while too. And I even gain a hit point. And attacks at 25, strength 22. I'll work on those as well later on. So, overall, an interesting stream. Thank you all for watching. And I'll see you all next time. I, I, hopefully tonight. If my mood holds steady, I will be streaming the Iron Eagle of Crumpets and a couple of Doom Wads. Including yours, Doom. On, uh, signing in 5.15.42. So see you later. This, uh, the steel grind begins here. Properly. <laughs>